मॉडिफाइड स्कीम्स फॉर क्लोनिंग इन कॉस्मेट वेक्टर जैसा कि मैंने आपको पहले बताया कि कॉस्मेट वेक्टर्स अगर हम यूज करें तो उसमें कुछ आ, जो है वो डिसएडवांटेजेस या लिमिटेशंस भी थी आ, क्योंकि जो लार्जर डीएनए फ्रेगमेंट्स थे ये आपस में ज्वाइन इसमें कर सकते थे और इस प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व किया गया बाय अप्लाइंग एल्कलाइन फास्फेटेज इसके बावजूद भी इसमें कोई लिमिटेशंस थी लाइक वेक्टर टू वेक्टर लाइगेशन वाज देयर एंड दिस वाज ओवरकम बाय यूजिंग सम मॉडिफाइड कॉस्मेट एंड वन सॉल्यूशन वाज प्रोवाइडेड बाय टू कोवर्कर्स लाइक इश हरोवो Hrovovics and uh, uh, next one was uh, Burke in 1981. They prepared or constructed a modified cosmic vector named as PJ8. Uh, it contained different restriction sites for enzymes like HIN3, BAMH1, SOL1, PST1, and uh, Uh, selectable markers for antibiotics and of course the cause site from uh, lambda phages so uh, here the foreign dna it was also treated with alkaline phosphatase as well as um, in case of uh, uh, modified cosmic vector uh, the restriction enzyme it provides the blunt end that prevents the vector to vector ligation uh, it is indicated uh, in next diagram first one it is the genetic map of modified cosmic vector p j b 8 and it is a 5.4 kilo base cosmic vector it contain restriction sites for different type of enzymes like hint 3 bamh1 pst1 and sol1 and selectable marker for ampicillin resistance when we cut it with enzymes like uh, sol1 or hint3 here hint3 and sol1 it can produce the blunt ends that are not ligated together and later on it can be further treated with bam h1 so that it provide cohesive ends on the other hand the genomic dna from any organism it can also be treated with sa3a enzyme in first step and then alkaline phosphatase so vector dna as well as the foreign dna it is treated with phosphatase to prevent their self ligation when they are mixed together in the next step then foreign dna having the size of 32 to 47 kilo base pair it can be inserted so here sa3a it produce same cohesive end as bam h1 so because of this reason although the enzymes are different for cosmit as well as for foreign dna digestion but they produce same cohesive ends so they can ligate together now foreign dna it is inserted here between the two cos sites and it is now ready for in vitro packaging and subsequently to transform suitable host organisms another modified vector named as c2xb it was uh, constructed by other two Co-workers like the Bates and Swift in 1983. They also uh, constructed uh, this vector for the cloning of uh, foreign DNA, but it is having the advantages because, uh, as compared to uh, other vector, other modified vector like the PJB8, it contain two cos sites, so it it eliminates the uh, the need of cutting of the Uh, cos sides to produce a right and left handed uh, blunt uh, ends so what is the situation in this case this diagram indicates the genetic maps of modified cosmit that is c2xb and it is having the size of 6.8 kilo base it contain two cos sites from the lambda phages and between these two cos sites a restriction enzyme site is it is present and it is called as soma1 and selectable markers for ampicillin resistance as well as kanamycin resistance and another restriction site is there which is bam h1 so the modified cosmid vector c2xb it can be treated with these two restriction enzyme that is soma1 and bam h1 so that two cos sites now they are separated 
and now it is ready to accept the foreign DNA here. It can also be digested with appropriate restriction enzyme and it is here SAW 3A. In the next diagram, the foreign DNA, it is mixed with cosmet so that foreign DNA it is ligated between the two cos site and these blunt ends that are produced as a result of SMAR1, they cannot self ligate. Now it is ready for in vitro packaging. After infection again it can assume the circular form and it is ready to replicate within a suitable host organism.